travelers here so as many of you guys might know that we are still in indonesia and exactly in west sumatra and currently we are in bukit Tinggi, which is one of the biggest cities here in sumatra right yes we're gonna try to cover all the the places to visit in yeah. bukit Tinggi that we recommend based on our experience where to go because yes. this area is is an open hill yeah. it's a hilly station because okay. it's in the mountains we are gonna start with the sianuk valley which is one of the main tourist attractions here which is here just in front of us it's a beautiful valley here with the, like a, a little mountain in the in the middle and you have all the cliffs here all the valley and actually this happens because of an earthquake there was an earthquake by like i don't know 20 000 years back there was a big earthquake that's why this valley form here that's the reason of the formation and just behind us here is uh, marapi this is the marapi volcano guys the, the volcano that erupted like a couple of months ago where a couple of climbers that and this volcano erupts almost every day it's a very active volcano It's the most active volcano in sumatra and this is another inactive volcano that is Singalan, Gunung Singalan, Singalan. Gunung Singalan and, which is uh, Mount Singalan. And right now we are in a cafe which is, what is the name? Can you look for the name? <laughs> it's in the I think it's <laughs> Pukak Taruko. This Pukak Taruko is a coffee shop mm -hmm. that is, has a amazing viewpoints to the Sianok Valley and all this stunning views. So yeah. it's a must visit here in Bukitinggi, like yeah. honestly. So we, we just got a coffee, we are drinking a coffee there and we came to this uh, viewpoint to show you guys the valley yeah. from here. Yeah, we already hiked an active volcano guys, we took the chance. So if you, haven't, yeah, if you haven't watched that video, we're going to leave you the link below so you can watch our adventure in Mount Sibayak that was in North Sumatra with Sumatra Utara. Right now we are in West Sumatra, which is Sumatra Barat. This is the cafe and it has this uh, bamboo bridges and if you come here you have the the valley from here you can enjoy the valley and you have a big river also where are actually some local swim if you want to swim this is the viewpoint you have the viewpoint of the Sianok valley you have Marapi here and you have the other one behind here three in one three in one <laughs> <laughs> three in one right yeah three in one if you come to if you come to this coffee you have three in one yes yeah what are you drinking this is my favorite kopi susu kopi susu is coffee and uh susu means uh, condensed milk it's so really sweet so. how do you like it here oh, la, la. i love it <laughs> the first coffee part. over the sea and okay. so now guys we're gonna finish our coffee and we're gonna keep exploring uh, wiki thingy and uh, by the way we came from this way where we came we think that we are staying here in Bukitinggi in the center if you come to this coffee we have this place here where you can like bring some coffee and you have the view from the, from the canyon from here and then you have these stairs and there is already down there so guys this is for this area and uh, let's go to the next destination and uh, by the way here if you want to come here you have uh, the entrance fee you have a ticket which is 5000 uh, Indonesian it's, rupiah it's per Pusha, person yeah it's Pucha Taruko coffee but it has a very stunning amazing views yes. where you can see the full Sianok Valley or, or Sianok Canyon guys yeah, if you made it to this cafe you can just uh, turn to the right and uh, come this way where you can enjoy also the you have the rice fields here like it's a local village where where you can see the locals are planting crops like here Gunung that's, Singalan guys that's an inactive volcano okay, no? yeah and it's inactive and they actually you can hike it if you want to hike and i think probably it's this way if you want to hike if you want to hike it and marap is in the other side so we came this way and yes. we are gonna try to go <laughs> this way, that way. and uh, let's see what this has <laughs> Tahu. Tahu. Ah, tahu. He came fishing. Terima kasih banyak banyak. Yeah. And uh, guys, this is how they fertilize the soil for the to, to plant the rice. Yeah. Look at this. This is a machine. Wow, that's so nice, man. <laughs> this is so nice. You wanna work? You wanna fertilize the soil? Yes. We we yeah. already plant rice. If you haven't watched our video. Take a look, we're gonna leave you guys where, where? the link in Samosir Island. I wanna ask him if I can do this, but he's not he's not responding. I'm gonna try to write this thing. Turn it, turn it, turn it!
That's for the Minankaba, right? Protect from the sun where they are working in yes, the fields. Yes, yeah. Well, we took it away from him. It's from him. It's after we had some time with some locals here and uh, helped the locals to to move the soil with this machine, we're gonna keep going, right? Yes, let's, let's go. Do it. This is for this area. Now we're going to the next place and uh, hope you are gonna enjoy the scenery while we're trying to get there. One more thing that we're gonna show you guys around here in this area before continuing to the next destination. It is a really nice mountains from there in the middle of the, the, the canyon and there is a viewpoint from here. It's a restaurant but it's in a boat shape so we're gonna go all the way up there and uh, try to take some shots from there. What are you having? Uh, pink lemon. Pink lemon. Yeah, it tastes delicious. You wanna try? Let me try. It's so refreshing. Wow, it tastes really good. Uh, so guys, we're still here and uh, before we continue exploring, uh, we're gonna have some Migoren telur, which means migoren, so it's noodles, noodles with yeah. egg. With some eggs. It's like just a snack. It's not a full meal, it's just a snack, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's also some eggs here. Or telur. Talwa is, means egg in Minankaba language. <laughs> oh, it tastes so good. So guys, we're gonna finish food and we're gonna keep exploring. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. Guys, we are moving to Kotukadan, which is the silver village, and it has a lot of historical background. So, we're gonna explain that when we get there. Now, we're gonna share with you guys the, the road. Look at this. It's moving. We finally made it to the silver village, which now also silver smith village uh, actually uh, interesting enough that this village in the 17th century they are from Bukitingi and uh, in the 17th century they moved from Bukitingi to this place because they were looking for the fertile soil to grow up the crop and that's when the, the village started when Kotogadan village started and Kotogadan uh, village is very well known for being a silversmith village yes. actually there's a lot of silver here like a lot of creations in the material yeah. in the metal of silver yeah. and also it's very famous because a lot of politicians <laughs> yeah. from Jakarta from Java come from this they are village. from here because uh, it's interesting enough again when there was the, the Dutch colony here they study here in a Dutch system that's why they are now wow. in the that's why they are now in the in the government of Indonesia because of the education that they get from the Dutch back in the days. It's a beautiful village. It's uh, it has a lot a lot of uh, historical background. If you if you are in Bukitinggi, don't forget to come here. It's just 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes from, from Bukitinggi, from yes. the central of Bukitinggi. You will see rice plantation, the Singalang mountain or Gunung Singalang. Uh, yeah. People are so welcoming. Minangkabau people are very welcoming. So you can grab coffee, tea, eat something with the locals and local food and local snacks yeah. here. Yeah. And also the, the Minankabo house looks like this. Yes, this the is yeah, it's a traditional Minankabo house and you yeah. will see it's like the, the horn of a buffalo. Here in uh, Kotogadan you find also this mosque, but it's not just that. This is a history because this mosque considered to be one of the oldest mosques in Indonesia. Well, this is how Kotogadan looks like guys and we're gonna show you guys some shots. Now there is a lady here, she makes some uh, local snacks. We're gonna drink some coffee with her and uh, share some time with locals here. And uh, yeah, that's what we do all the time. We try to uh, interact with locals. It's a local shop here. They are all the time love because they don't speak English and we barely understand each other. Ice, ice, dinging. Yeah. Just had some kopi sisu here kopi with this uh, beautiful yeah. minang kebab, ketukatan ladies. Thank you. Terima kasih, banyak banyak. Thank you. Okay, this is YouTube, YouTube, YouTube good, normal. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna look for a silver shop here. They told us that we need to take this way. It is the sign of uh, ketukatan. You take just right here. We just made it to Ma'wan Silver World here, which is in Kotogadan. Now we are gonna try to go inside and try to show you guys what are the designs that they have here and what is what is the type of silver work that they do here. Uh, we just find the owner here, he's here. We're gonna go inside and try to show you guys. 
Uh, this is the million cable guys and they made out of silver. This is all silver. Eight months. Eight wow, months. this house took eight months guys to build. And this is Jam Gadang. Jam Gadang. Ah, tower. The clock tower, yeah. the Jam Gadang. They have all these small houses. Look at this. And these are the rings here turning. Beautiful silver uh, rings guys here. Uh, they even make a lot of uh, animals here. Horses, yeah. birds. From ah, China. From China. 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 Wow. This green jade. Charge from China. How much? The uh, gun, 820. What is this uh, stone? Yeah, wow. How much? That one, uh, uh, one million two hundred. Uh, so guys, this is the silver shop. If you Not pass one. by, you can just come here. If you want to check some rings, they have rings. They have some traditional uh, shapes, designs from Minak about traditions. And uh, yeah, they have really good the rings. Yes, and they yeah. also have some Minangkabau houses. Yeah, and, made out uh, of silver, but yeah, they're stones, really, really... Precious stone crystals. Yeah. And they have like jewelry as well for weddings. So, yes. yeah. They have something that is like affordable. Some other are really, really expensive that you need to fill up all your bank in your pocket if you want to come here. <laughs> we just arrived to one of the viewpoints over the, the valley in Kutugadan. It's just right if you come to Kutugadan and you have the Kutugadan sign. Uh, you just turn to the to the left and you come out right next to the gray wall the gray wall is just right here and uh, in front of you here you just have the, like a huge overview this is the viewpoint and the, the gray wall the replica of the one like in china yeah the it's gray just wall here of the gray wall of kutugadan and it just start here from uh, kutugadan and it takes top. you all the way down this is the sign here Zhang Zhang kutugadan the gray wall of kutugadan Tahun 2013 meters. Yes. So just a brief history about this uh, about this wall, guys. Before the Dutch colony came here, it was just a trail that people make from the Bukitinggi to cross all the way to to Kutugadan. But after the Dutch came, they rebuilt it, and then they came with the idea to the replica of the Great Wall in China, and they use it to bring all the military the military stuff from. From Bukitinggi to Kutugadan. Let's go all the way down, guys. This is the beginning of the Great Wall. <laughs> wow, it looks amazing, though. Yeah. And the view? Now you feel like you are in China, right? Yeah. In the Great Wall of China. <laughs> and this is one of the viewpoints, guys. This is the first viewpoint, guys. If you come all the way down, you have this viewpoint to your right side here, where you have the view. Honestly, it doesn't have that clear view over the valley because all these trees are covering the, the valley. So this is the, the beginning of the Great Wall of uh, Kutugadan from here, from down. And we show you guys up. This is down. You come in Bukitinggi. You come here and it's on your left side. So you go this way. So we're going to try to go all the way up and see if we can find the viewpoint over the, 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 the valley. This is the beginning guys of the, the stairs and uh, apparently has 100 I couldn't finish from the top Why? Because there was a lot of monkeys Yeah, there was a lot of monkeys that got upset so we need to go all the way back and go start from the down. bottom Start from the bottom Yeah The panorama guys, this is the entrance for the international you pay 25 Indonesian rupiah and for locals they pay 20 Indonesian rupiah this is the inside of the panorama I just paid. Uh, panorama here in Bukitinggi is one of the most uh, touristic attractions here where you can see the, the gunun here and this is the valley from here. One of the things guys, uh, aside from the panorama and the views over the, the valley, you have the music here every weekend. They perform, there are some different groups every weekend. They came here and then they sing the entire night and like afternoon basically. The Japanese cave tunnel is just down here. So we're gonna go and go inside and this is the park from here uh, This is the entrance of the Japanese tunnel guys We're gonna go inside and explain to you what it is What is the history of a uh, Japanese cave So guys, this is the famous Japanese uh, cave or also Japanese tunnel This Japanese idea? cave uh, are 50 meters below okay. the ground and they were built during World War II it was built by the Japanese to be to be able to have ammunition, they have hospitals. They use the Indonesians as slaves and they make them build all of this. 
uh, all of these caves is uh, huge caves because they were protecting themselves from the allies which in that in that era when the world war ii the allies were the united states united kingdom uh okay. soviet union which is currently russia and china okay. and then they were the axis there was japan germany and italy so japan took over indonesia for quite some time during world war ii they invade and they start building these Japanese caves. Uh, and then after, they, okay. it was it was the recovered by the Dutch, and then the Dutch gave it back to Indonesia. Indonesia. Yeah. That's the history of this tunnel, and we're gonna take you guys inside and let's see how it goes. So this is the inside the cave, guys, and this is how it looks like. It's really cold here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. We are still going inside the tunnel, guys. Here. They have this blue light. Wow, there's another hole here. Amazing. Yeah. Amunity, yeah. What the hell is this means? It seems ammunition. This is the prison. Yeah, wow. This is the prison, guys. Because this place also was the prison. Wow. And inside the, the cave, you have these small caves for the ammunition and for the army supplies and everything this is inside japanese cave this were japanese uh, slave thousands of indonesians minankabao locals here to dig this hole to dig this tunnel for the supplies for the army for the bombs it has also the prison some some places are for the prison where they put the prisoners and yeah this is amazing this is history back in 1945 guys this tunnel imagine this tunnel full of japanese full of uh, and the bombs outside between the between the axis and allies like they were fighting here and then after thanks to dutch they came and then they give the, the land back to indonesia and uh, so guys this is the main tunnel when you come this way you'll find two tunnels one to the right here and it's really really deep we're gonna go there and uh, to the right which vero took to the left. Yeah. To the right and the left. And yeah, to the right and the left. Tunnels. And you have another one here. Another big one here. Yeah. Wow. And there's a hole here. We don't know what it is. Pintu Pengi Tayan. Right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what it is, guys. But it seems like it's a, it's like a prison. It's like a room. And what, uh, what crossed my mind? You know the hole? There may be they were trying to escape. Yeah. You have one hole there. And you have one on top. I think they were trying to escape or something and then after they needed to do that cage or something, I don't know so yeah, that will cross my mind but I don't know hey guys, one of the things that they don't put information in English would be nice to to put everything even if you read about it in the internet it doesn't say the details, for example, what is this for? what is the other tunnels for? because you have the main tunnel, you came from the main tunnel and it, like, it's pretty, you find a lot of tunnels it's like the, the roots of the, the tree This is it for Japanese cab guys. Secret this one is this one. Yeah. Pintu Masuk. Uh, and they go straight. And then you turn to the left and Pintu Pelarian. Okay. And then here is Rang Amunisi. Guys, we assume because we don't know Bahasa that these are where the ammunitions. Where, where they took the ammunition storage. Where they were storage. Okay. And then all number four, Barak Militer. Militer. So I guess where the military was staying. Pintu Maybe that's the exit? 11. No, this is Pintu Keluar. Keluar means exit. Ah, okay. This is Pintu Keluar. This is an exit. Wrong Makan. Wrong Makan. It's number six. Makan means food. So I guess this is the like a word they for the food. To eat. Ah, for the, the storage yeah. of the food. Wrong Sidem. Pintu Penjergapan. Two so number six means where they used to eat. Nasi goreng, Indomie. No, is that Japanese? They are Japanese. <laughs> they don't know what it is with nasi goreng. So, guys, this is the, the Japanese tunnel or the Japanese uh, cave. Now we're gonna keep exploring the, the panorama here, up here. Lubang, Japan. Lubang, Japan. I heard some acoustic, some music here. Today is Saturday, so there's some music going around. So, we're gonna definitely check it out. After coming up from the, the cave of Japanese, after coming back from 1945, the Second World War, so let's do it. <laughs> this is the other viewpoint that you have to check out if you came to uh, you come to a panorama in Bukitinki, which is 
which is a wider a wider uh, viewpoint honestly you have a 360 view from here you can see all the villages down there you can see the uh, field, rice fields full of water you have the ecology this is the ecology from here where you can see the architecture of Minangkabau houses and if you turn this way you have the other side this is the other side of the, the canyon of the valley and in this side you have uh, Bukitengi so if you come to this uh, to this viewpoint you have a 360 over the over Bukitengi so guys also along the way if you walk near you find shops you find shops also where they sell the, some traditional clothes but unfortunately they are closing everyone is closing so this is it for this video guys and thank you so much for watching please if you like it don't forget to give us a thumbs up and if you have any comments any suggestions don't forget to put them below in the comment and again see you in the next one